Hello everybody. Welcome to this session. Tonight's video is to help you sleep. To help regulate your nervous system so that you're able to calm down, center, and more easily sleep through the night. And I'm just cleansing our spaces at the moment. I'm so glad that you are here. And I hope, I thank all of my subscribers and supporters for helping with this channel. Your likes, comments, subscriptions, and shares help my channel reach more people to be able to help them to sleep, relax, and feel safe. And then I'm going to use my sugared cranberry candle. Double a little bit of candle work in, with intention and aromatherapy. I hope you like cranberries like I do. And so I'd like to bring the intention in to the candle to help you sleep, relax, become more centered. And if you have any other intentions, feel free to place them now into the candle flame. I'm also just going to pass this around a little bit to also work with the fire element, beginning the cleansing process for that. So I know a lot of us have days where we just kind of feel like we get dumped on or we take on too much stuff, we think too much, we feel too much, and so I'm just going to begin fluffing that aura, fluffing that energy field to help me be able to get into it more easily. going to take the small stones and put them at your feet. 
they absorb a lot of negative energy and help protect you as well. I'll go get that. also have a little turtle and it has lapis lazuli, pink quartz, and peacock ore within it. I'm going to place this actually on your solar plexus. So, but I'm going to just use it for a few moments to move it through the chakra system. Just imagine this cute little turtle coming on over to you. I'm going to take my little rattle. I like the way it sounds this way too. But I'm going to take this to break up some of the larger monumental things that are in your aura that don't need to be there. So let's So now that some of that larger debris and energy is heavy, dense energy is broken up, I can more easily use my selenite wands to, to comb through and neutralize and take away a lot of that. This is something that I actually do myself 
on a daily basis to myself, I find that it really helps to get the day's sludge off. I see quite a few people who have had trauma and drama in their lives and here I'm first a Reiki master but I'm also a hypnotherapist and that's um, quite a bit of my work as well to help dehypnotize people from things that have happened to them in a in the past and have kind of what they call created a map for their mind and to help get them un unhooked from that. I'm going to bring back our candle and pluck and pull because there's a few larger items here. Once I am done with the removal and looking into what energy we're drawing in today, I will be taking you through some verbal relaxation to help you go deeper so that you can sleep easily. Feeling safe. Knowing that you're okay. Knowing I'm here for you. Clean that up. A little 
Chronic Cleanser of Vodka and Lavender. And a little clear quartz. I'm just going to spray it a couple times. a really soft lavender aroma. If you like lavender, go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhaling. Take another gentle breath in. One more time, and out. So now I have my Oracle deck, and I would like to pull a couple cards to see what kind of energy we're looking at today that we're pulling in. First one is the reflecting pool, and it also says stillness. So, this card, when we draw that, it's time to become still and reflect on not just the day, but Reflect on what we've attracted, what we've repelled. To reflect also on the good of our day. Now she's looking in the pool and seeing a swan as her reflection. So, here we're being told in that stillness you can reflect upon yourself your behaviors, your thoughts, and if there's anything you want to change you can find a solution it's always a nice nice thing to be able to find a solution in our dreams because that's how our subconscious works we can give it a job, so to speak, during your sleep, and a 
more often than not you will receive some information. The second one is Raven Spirit. which also says truth and ravens have many meanings actually in the spirit world and it's good for traveling through dreams helping you find different areas where you can improve upon and heal. Two great cards for this session. So the first crystal I'd like to use is my black amethyst. And black amethyst is good for calming nightmares. I don't have many nightmares. And I really do I think a lot of that is because of this this crystal. I keep it on a shelf above my crown chakra. It's known for being a stone of keeping negativity away as well. So I do like to use breath work help begin the relaxation cycle in our body to wind down even further. And so let's just take a nice deep breath in together. And exhale. That's helping us to connect even deeper for me to help you to move into that relaxed dreamy state. And take another deep breath. Just know that I'm here with you. You're safe. And you can close your eyes at any time. You don't have to have your eyes open to receive this relaxation at all. Take another deep breath in. And exhale. And the next crystal we're going to use is the rose quartz. It's 
so through some spiritual guidance I don't know that this is unique at all but through some spiritual guidance I was it was mentioned that if someone's having trouble letting go of that negative heavy energy helping them with some positive unconditional love energy and expanding that to help push out to take its place because unconditional love is all powerful so I'm going to begin actually by placing the Reiki symbols in your heart chakra first and then we'll do the crystal work just want you to think of someone or something that you really love or appreciate that could be a pet it can be an object your friend parent sibling child that you appreciate and love just as unconditionally as you can and we're asking our guides and angels to fill in any spaces that we're trying to get to but can't and just filling that with the unconditional love And then I want you to take another gentle breath in to receive that and exhale, relax into it. Again. And exhaling into it. Being willing to accept. Feeling loved. Again, in and out. And I always like to imagine something like a wave of relaxation. Could be energy, air, but it's a wave of relaxation. And it's a special wave of relaxation as everywhere it touches, it helps you relax, 
helps you become aware of any tension you might have had so that you can relax it even more. So just imagine this wave as I bring out the howl light to help you become more comfortable. and balanced. And this wave of relaxation can begin to encircle both of your feet. And just noticing your feet. Noticing if there's any tension there. If there is, just give permission to this wave to help relax you. All you have to do is just be willing to let go. Letting go of that tension. And that wave expands moving through your ankles, your calves and your shins, all the way up through your knees. Notice if those calves and shins, your knees, could use a little bit more relaxation. We're just telling them it's okay. You can accept that. You can release whatever you're holding there. Helping them feel lighter and more at ease. And then let it move up to your thighs. And if you have tension in your thighs, your hips, just see if you can allow that wave of relaxation to relax you anymore even more. And allowing that wave to move up And relax, let go, it's okay, you're safe. Now bring in some carnelian for those areas that are covered by the first and second chakra, and even a little bit of the third. And just notice your abdomen, 
Notice if you're holding any tension there. Just being quiet and attentive towards your body. And just notice. It's okay to release any tension. Sometimes to help you through that you can wiggle a little bit. And as you move up, if you feel tension in any of your organs, just allow this universal love to move through it. Deep breath in and exhale, moving deeper into that, deeper into the relaxation. Again and exhale. Now imagine that wave entering the chest area as I, don't know if I'll say this correctly, use some garnier right. It's got a greenish blue tinge to it, and I can't believe it was still there, but it's got, if you can see it, a little fairy mark in there. Or angel wings. So we'll just take that through as you just notice the beat of your heart. Just connect with that. Notice if it's fast. If it's fast, you can just say, oh, it's okay. You can Slow down for sleep. I'm safe, secure. You don't have to beat that fast. Notice if there's any other tension in your chest. Is it challenging to breathe? Maybe you feel a little heaviness there. From tension. And just allow that wave to assist you. Allow the angels to assist you in letting go of that tension. And notice. Also, I'm going to get behind you. Notice if you have any tension in that spine area. 
the muscles that crisscross your back from side to side. Just notice that wave relaxing you vertebrae by vertebrae. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Those muscles, those back muscles, just wiggling again if you need to, wiggling those shoulders to just notice if you need to relax them more. Getting in touch with your body to know what it needs. We move so fast through life sometimes that we forget to check in. It's not part of our normal routine. Of which I think it should be. And then allowing that wave to come up through the throat and into the jaw. And just notice if there's any areas that are tight within those areas. A lot of us grind our teeth at night. I didn't know that I did that after I was a child, but I guess I do that once in a while. I had to get my first crown this past year. Just allow any tension in your jaw, your throat, to just begin to leave. Maybe I can help pull that a bit. Any of that heaviness. And just let your jaw and your chin just let go. It's okay. And I don't know what it's like for you, but I really like, I really like that wave of relaxation just kind of helping all the tiny muscles through your face. Just let go and relax. And maybe I can help with that for a few moments. You might even feel the tip of your nose relax. the earlobes. All the way to the top of your head. down the back of your head and into your neck and shoulders. I think the majority of people that I meet, including myself, hold their tension in their upper back and shoulders and even their neck. That forward head that we have when we're looking at our phone or our tablet or even just sitting at a desk with her head on our chin just distorts our, our neck just enough to make problems. So just take a gentle breath in and exhale. 
I'm going to use a little regular amethyst to help relax you more. A lot of people find this very calming and soothing. So just pay attention to your shoulders for a moment. Getting to know your shoulders in this present moment. It's all safe and secure in the present moment. And just allow yourself to notice if you can release any tension in those shoulders. Let that wave continue to move through those shoulders and down your arms. Relaxing your arms and your elbows. Even down through your wrists, your hands, even those fingertips. Sometimes if we find that we're holding tension in our arms, it's helpful to make a fist. Squeeze tight and let it go. tends to help you relax them more. And just take a deep breath. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. silent while I massage your face if that's okay relax. I'm here. If you haven't closed your eyes, let's close them. Okay. And just let go. 